Left of the box. This is from Mike Boris. He's the green MP, one of the better MPs that we have. Wish we had more like him in office. And he's been highly outspoken when it comes to people living with disabilities and the poverty that we endure. He's been on my channel. You should go check it out. I've interviewed him to talk about this sort of thing. Mr. Speaker, thanks to the powerful advocacy of people with disabilities across the country, every MP in this House supported legislation meant to lift people with disabilities out of poverty. Nine months later, still no commitment from this government to fund what will be called the Canada Disability Benefit. When it came to made legislation, this government sure moved fast to make sure people with disabilities could die well. Will the Prime Minister show he's ready to ensure kids with dis disabilities live well? So here you hear... So here you hear the liberals going, oh, what are you saying? Ah, ah, ah. It's like, no, that's a very valid point. And the liberals jeering at him right now, totally uncalled for. It has been extended, but uh, people whose sole condition is mental health cannot apply for MAID at the moment. That's medical assistance and dying. That has been extended. However, people who are just living with disabilities can apply for medical assistance and dying and many have and many have done it because they can't get the supports that they need to live their life to have a good quality of life and so the government expanded made to include people with disabilities before enacting this benefit which is just so gross and that's part of my frustration with the um expanding it to people whose sole condition is mental health issues because Mental health isn't covered under a universal health care. So we'll expand MAID, medical assistance in dying, to people with mental health issues before we actually expand the health care system to include them. And so people living with disabilities can apply for MAID while we're still waiting on the government to enact the disability relief benefit. And people have already used that program that would be alive today if they simply had the supports needed. It is the dire poverty that they're in, the lack of the ability to get the medication, the in-home care, the, the medical equipment, mobility devices, to be able to move to a place that's accessible to them. But because they couldn't get that, they, they've used MADE. And so here you have the liberals jeering at Mike Morris for calling attention to that. Shame on them. Well, that can lead to a fully funded benefit by Budget 2024. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, uh, the member is better than that question that he just asked. Uh, he... The member is better than you, Justin Trudeau. Such a fake, performative asshole. <laughs> to, to say that he's... To, to, to condescend to Mike Morris for making a very valid point, shame on him. Just shame... Shame on Justin Trudeau. He knows uh, that it's really important to be there to both protect people uh, when they're most vulnerable and uh, be there to support their wishes. That is something that is foundational in Canada. In yes, we'll be there when they're at their most vulnerable and to support their wishes when it comes to MAID. <laughs> we'll be there for that. In regards to people living with disabilities, we have uh, invested more in people with disabilities uh, over the past eight years than ever before. What he means are usually programs that they give money to corporations to try to make them more inclusive, to have a, a token person with disabilities have access to that job that maybe couldn't have had access before. It's all about getting people with disabilities back into the workforce. That's where they're spending their money, generally speaking, as opposed to realizing that a lot of people with disabilities aren't working because we can't. I cannot hold down a normal job. I'm doing this because this is what I'm capable of. And even this, I fluctuate on my ability of being able to do it. 
Hence why I have to cut back to just doing this two times a week for now. I can't hold down a normal job. I can't work with other people. My mental health, it, it not only is it detrimental to me, it, it, it's not helpful to the people I work with. They don't want me there either. I can guarantee you that. They don't want to be working with me either. But usually when he says that they're spending money, it's on programs like that, that shovel out money to corporations. But people like me, I've seen no benefit from the federal government as of yet. My life has not improved as somebody living with disabilities because of the federal government. N I, nothing. Nothing. And there is more to do. We were very, very pleased to move forward on the Canada Disability Benefit, and we will have more to say in the coming months. So we have a, a federal budget coming up in April. And that's when the government says, this is how we're going to be spending our money. Well, vote for it, blah, blah, blah. And the NDP will most likely vote for it so that it passes, so that there's not a vote of uh, non-confidence and all that sort of stuff. If there isn't something in there about people with disabilities and actually enacting the disability benefit that has been voted on, approved, has gone through the Senate, is in law. If they don't do anything to actually enact it, the chances of it happening before the next federal election is nil. It won't happen. And if the Conservatives get into power, it won't happen. But part of it is Justin Trudeau just wants to keep it as a carrot on a stick for the next, next election to try to get people out to vote. And it's so gross because meanwhile, it's our lives that are being harmed by this, our quality of life that's being harmed by this by their stupid political games.